Hi, so where Siberia is, like just now, um, there was a super volcano and what happened is one day it just blew. Like, and the whole thing is it pumped out all this ash in the atmosphere and that obviously changed the, co- the, the continent, the climate, <laughs> like, and caused a mass extinction event. But again, this happened over millions of years, but you lost 95% of life, like at the end of that period of time, like during the Permian, like at the end of the Permian period, that was the like most life ever lost, like in geological time. And they're like, well, what happened here of... That happened. Well, that with also a, a few other concepts as well, a few other ideas, because that's the thing with geology. There's always like things that are like kind of not changing, like but obviously they, they've kind of settled down recently, especially in plate tectonics. Because maybe like forty years ago, plate tectonics was always argued against, and they were like, "Oh, you can't prove this, or you can't prove that." And the same like a hundred years ago, or two hundred, like yeah, a hundred and fifty years ago, or whatever it was, like when people said that, "Oh, I think the Earth's more than four thousand years old," like they were laughed at. Like they were like shut up and all. it's like four thousand years old and don't get me wrong everyone has their own like you know beliefs and opinions and I would never force people to believe in what but, I'm saying but, but they're stupid beliefs you know yeah uh, I'm just yeah. like aye, okay yeah. yeah you just you just sit there and aye, it's, it's not yeah, they're not, not flat aye, yeah. I know oh my goodness don't get me started with them <laughs> but yeah like um, aye, well, I can't remember what your question was again I'm no, sorry we're, we're on super volcanoes but the other bit that you, oh, you yes, said with, volcanoes. Uh, you said within your video um, is Scotland used to have mountains the size of the Himalayas mm-hmm. so where did the top of them go? Oh, they've all been eroded away over geological it's time. Simple erosion. Yeah. So, like, obviously, once you had the this these two continents, eventually, like the crustal thickening got to a point where it couldn't like get any, you know, bigger. So erosion's happening, and over geo- geological time, we're talking like millions of years. You have like the stretch in the crust sometimes as well, where like basins are created and different things can happen and affect it. Like, and obviously, like the ice has cut out the most recent, like version of what we can see with our own eyes in the highlands but and th- that's the roots of these mountains but yeah they basically over geological time they've just been eroded away by the natural processes that we have wind water ice so mount everest will one day yeah one day that'll nothing. go <laughs> like, i don't know when maybe like in the next hundred million years you never know like 200 million years but mount everest that only formed 65 million years ago like or well didn't even for like as i see when you look at the a geological kind of map of time, like, and you see India, and you see India moving. So India, 65 million years ago, was, like, down in the, what's it known as, the Indian Ocean, and India's just kind of moved up and up and up because you've got a subduction plate that sits at the Himalayas, like, just now, and that subduction plate's pulling this Indian continent with it, and obviously as India collided with Asia, it just went, and all all the rocks have just kind of crumpled up and formed these mountains. I mean, a mountain-building event can take, like, less than 100 million years to happen, like, even less, like, even 20 million years or so to happen. It just depends on what tectonic settings you've got in place, and also the, the crust is constantly changing, and plates are always moving away from each other and then coming back together again and forming different things over geological time. It's, it's just dead interesting. Like, to me, I'm just like, wow, I'm blown away by it because <laughs> I still don't know what's, even in the future, what's going to happen. I don't know every little bit about it, but... So do As we know? Each day. Do we know where Scotland's going to end up? And oh, it's going north still. It's oh, going to get colder. Still north, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, we're still heading that way, like kind of towards the North Pole. It's been heading that way for a while <laughs> since, like, um, I it was at the equator, like obviously during the Carboniferous period, but it was in the Southern Hemisphere maybe uh, more than five hundred million years ago. I like to a thousand, like or a billion million years ago. No, like, yeah, no, a billion years ago. Sorry. Yeah, I get like so geologists yeah. like to refer to it as a thousand million years ago, but it's actually a billion. I, like, can't, I don't I can't know why. Wrap, <laughs> I can't wrap my head around the times. They're just oh, numbers. it's mental. Uh, it's just I, numbers. I can't, I can't picture. No. That. Well, I mean, I, I'm just quite happy enough just seeing it in my head and then looking at the rocks and being like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I can imagine this happening. Like, but. It'd just be weird to see it. Like, I think back in the day when the old geologists, like the scientists, used to go out and look at these forces and these things and see that there was like older rocks sitting on top of younger rocks and be like, how did that get like that? They were having nightmares thinking that the crust was just going to suddenly move because they thought the earth was only 4,000 years old.